off by saying if you hear any baby noises or rustling, it's because Lewis is right down beside me. Because instead of going to sleep, he is watching me. Sorry if you can hear him, but it is what it is. So today's video, I'm going to go through these shadows, and these shadows are from Carity. I've only just recently heard of these, or well, these, this brand. And sorry about the sniffling. If I sniffle through this and I can't edit it out, I'm really sorry, but I'm sick. <laughs> I've picked up this brand here. It's called Carity. I bought it online, and I got the Nebula set, I believe. It was like 44 US dollars, which I think was like these shadows. And yes, I've got two of the same green because one came with a set and I bought one. I don't know. And then I think um, these two came with the set. I can't really remember, it's been like three weeks. They're all about $4.50, $5, some a bit more, some a bit less. But yeah, that's the shadows here. And I have swatched a few of them, um, but I haven't really played around with them. So I'm only gonna use, I'm only gonna touch what I have to use and then I'm gonna do swatches afterwards in another video. Yeah, this is, I'm going to test out this brand and see what it's like. So yeah, it's Carity, I will link it down below if you want to go check it out. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to prime my eyes using my concealer. It is my um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to go in using my Face of Australia translucent powder just to set my eyelids. I'm going to go in using this BH Cosmetics, I think it's a highlighter brush. And just set that. Now I'm going to go start in and use some shadow. So I'm going to go in with this shadow here and it is called Inode. So I'm just going to go on a, on a Custom Sense Pro Blending Fluff. Super pigmented. My first impression of these shadows and so far are really pigmented. Okay so I'm just going to go with a big BH brush and just make sure not that there is any but just make sure there's no harsh lines. So next I'm going to go in with shade here and it's called Tarte and it's just a cool toned medium brownish shade. I'm just going to go with the same dirty brush or the same Coastal Sense brush that I used <coughs> just with then. Take a little bit I'm going to focus on the outer third. Taking a little bit higher into the crease on the outer corner. I just took some on the like flatter bit of the brush and I'm using that just to build up the intensity on my lid. I'm just taking what's left over on my brush and just bringing it a little bit further in and then going with my BH Cosmetics brush and just helping that all blend out. So I'm just going to go in with the darker shade that I have and it's called Temptress and it just looks like that. Just a really nice cool dark brown and just get on the same brush I've been using this whole time and just putting that just on top. I'm just going to get a black now just because I just want it to be just a little bit more in the, a little bit more popping in the outer V. I'm just going to take my Reveal 2 palette. I'm going to go in with the Sigma, Sigma E25 blending brush. A little bit on the brush. And just put that in the crease. Just a little bit. So just a little bit just to deepen it up. Well, that's my translucent brush this one <laughs> and blending everything I'm gonna go in with this one called Tootsie it's just a really nice champagne shimmery color going in with a ordinary flat shade brush it's good but I feel as though if I wet it I'm just gonna use my setting spray it's not a super out there, really intense shimmery shade. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do some wing liner. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Master Precise winged liner and just do... I 
I'm saying thing, but and I'm not ignoring um, Lewis at all. I am talking to him. I'm just editing it out just in case you're like you see you're doing your makeup and not talking to your kid, but I am talking to him. Don't worry. I'm gonna do some eyeliner just to get away any of that light um, skin color you can see from my waterline that is poking through and looks nasty. So I'm gonna go in and use the Anastasia Brow Pomade. This is in the color taupe or taupe, however you want to say it. Has anybody else's baby's got their teeth like super super early? Like he's 11 weeks, so almost three months, um, and he's getting his teeth already. I know my cousin got her teeth at three months, but I'm just wondering how actually how common it is. Because Caleb got his at six, so. And, I'm draining it. <laughs> so, I know this brow in the viewfinder anyway it looks like it's way darker than this brow, but I swear they are pretty much exactly the same. And the shape is pretty similar, apart from this bit here. Which So I've just gone through and carved my eyebrows out with concealer, so I'm going to go and um, do a brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to take a like pencilish brush, this is from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to go in with this shadow called Daisy Chain. So it's just a white shimmery shade. Oh, I got a new backdrop too, I've only just mentioned this now, but look at that. It's just a bit of sparkly fabric, honestly, that's all it is. Hung up by two command hooks on the ceiling. But it works. So now that that's done, I'm going to go with my foundation and I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match foundation in, <laughs> in um, one W, so, and it's golden ivory. And I'm just going to apply that on my face. You don't really need to see this, so I'm going to edit it out because it's just a plain foundation. Um, but I used to use this all the time and I haven't bought it in ages and then they had the 40% off 40% off sale at Priceline so I thought I'd grab a few foundations to try and use and I knew I wanted this one again um, so I got it so I'm happy I've got some foundation to actually suit my face so I have to mix but I'm gonna also I'm gonna use the um, Real Techniques Multitask Brush I just done my foundation, my concealer, my highlight and my cream contour and that all in a separate video so um because i was doing a first impression so if you want to see that video then i will link it down below once it's up if it's not before this but who knows um but yeah so now all i've got to do is really powder so i'm going to go in with my faces of australia loose translucent powder and my powder brush which is just a fake real techniques bold metals brush So I'm just going to go into a little bit of hula from Benefit, just a tiny bit on the edge of this fake Real Techniques ball metal brush. I just got over that contour just a little bit. Like I had the tiniest amount of product on my brush, you can't even see it. For blush, I'm going to use my Down Boy by the Balm, just because I haven't used this in quite a while. I'm going in with this Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with some highlight. So I'm going to go in and use my uh, Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And just put that on the high points of my cheekbones, keep bow, bow, no nose, those sorts of areas. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques setting brush to apply that. You can see that now, can't you? Okay, so now that I've done all that, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to use this NYX Lingerie um, Lip Gloss, no, Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's called, em what is it called? Embellishment? Is that what it's called? Lip O2? Is number two? Lip Embellishment? Uh, embellishment? I have no idea what it's actually called. But it's the... this one. <laughs> So 
This is the first time I'm actually using this, so. Hello. Hello. Are you trying to fight your sleep, darling? Yes, you are. Go to sleep. Oh, he's got his mittens on because it is quite cool here. And his hands are freezing. Yeah, he's teething, so he likes his dummy at the moment. There you go. He needs that panda doll. Hey, buddy. Go to sleep. Okay, so I'm doing my lashes off camera just because you're gonna hear him the whole time I'm trying to go to sleep. So I'm gonna do it off camera and hope by then he's finally put himself to sleep or I've helped him. Hey. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do my lashes and I will be right back. I am. Oh. I am using these lashes. I got them off AliExpress. I will link them down below if I find them, which I surely have already just bought them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put them on and I will be back. So I've done both of my lashes now and I've finished this dye. I'm going to go in with the three shadows I use on my lids. I'm going to go in with Inode and put that. He's smiling at me now. Cheekiest thing ever. And put that under my lash line. Like, like thicker towards the um, outside and like really close to the inner corner. As you come in, and then I'm going to use tart. I'm not taking that in as far, probably about halfway. And then I'm taking um, temperatures on the last little bit. Now I'm gonna go in and use this eyeliner. This is a Model Surfer um, multi-purpose pencil. It is in the shade Silk, and I'm gonna put it on the tight line. I mean waterline. I mean whatever this one is. And then I'm taking mascara, and I'm taking the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara, and putting my lashes. So I'm just blending my natural lashes in with the fake ones. Okay, so I think that's done. Is that done? Oh, inner corner highlight. So let's use Daisy Chain, the same one we used for my bare bone. I'm just take it on a really small flat shadow brush. Okay, so that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you like this video and would like to see more, remember to subscribe down below. And if you like this video, obviously, if you want to, Click the subscribe button. No. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Like it. Um, but yeah, I really hope you I really hope you did enjoy it and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!